The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, Cratylus adamantius, is one of the most iconic species found in the United States, if not the whole world. This is the largest rattlesnake species on Earth. Here's an in-depth look at its characteristics, behavior, habitat, and more. Starting with the physical description, as mentioned, this is the largest rattlesnake species. They can grow to lengths of 6 feet or more, with the largest being 8 foot. The average size is usually around 4 to 5 feet. The pattern of the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is distinctive with those characteristic dark diamond shaped markings on the back. These are bordered by lighter cream colored scales. The background color is usually light brown or gray. All rattlesnakes are pit vipers possessing heat sensing pits between the eyes and nostrils, loreal pits. This incredible organ helps detect warm blooded prey. The next characteristic may shock you, but like other rattlesnakes, the eastern diamondback has a rattle at the end of its tail as well. The purpose of the rattle is to warn others of their presence in order to avoid being stepped on and also as a way to warn off potential predators. The most interesting thing of all is that there's a rattlesnake that lives on an island, the Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake that no longer has a threat of big animals or predators, meaning there is no longer a need for a rattle. They are now a rattleless rattlesnake. Now they just have a nub as a tail. Isn't that just so amazing? Now the rattle itself is made of keratin, the same structural protein that makes up hair, nails, and many other structures. The rattle itself is hollow and interlocking. Muscles in the rattlesnake's tail vibrate at extremely high speeds and the loose interconnectedness of the rattle itself causes the segments to strike each other producing a notorious sound. Rattle growth happens during the shedding of their skin. Each time a rattlesnake sheds, they gain a segment. You may be familiar with a common saying that you can tell the age of a rattlesnake by counting the number of segments on the rattle. This is actually a myth. A snake can shed multiple times per year. In the case of a rattlesnake, each shed they gain a segment. Not only that, but when one has a long rattle, the interconnected segments we talked about means that the rattle can break off if it gets stuck as the snake moves through the environment, for example. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake is found in the southeastern United States. The habitat they prefer are dry, sandy areas such as pine forests, palmetto flatwoods, sand hills, hardwood forest, scrublands, and coastal plains. They are also found in areas with sparse vegetation and open spaces that allow for easy movement. Eastern diamondbacks are primarily diurnal, active during the day, although they have been found active at all times, even at night. They are a terrestrial species, and the most amazing aspect of their behavior which also ties into habitat as well, is that they will frequently use gopher tortoise burrows for shelter. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake is an ambush predator. They will sit and wait motionless for prey to pass by, and when they are close enough, they will strike, inject venom, release, and wait for the venom to do its job before they track it down and eat it. And they do the bite and release, to avoid getting hurt by the prey item. And the primary prey of the eastern diamondback are mammals. Since they do get to a large size, some of the prey they eat is large, such as rabbits. But they'll eat squirrels, rats, mice, and they are opportunistic, so they've been found eating other animals as well. The venom of the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is primarily hemotoxic, and it is used to capture prey. And I know venom scares people, thinking that they use it for defense. But in a last ditch effort where a venomous snake feels threatened enough to defend itself with a bite, there's a high likelihood of a dry bite, no venom injected. And when you think about a rattlesnake, everything about them is defensive, rattling to alert others where they are so they don't get stepped on and also to avoid confrontation. And since we're on the topic of venom and we mentioned a myth earlier about the age of a rattlesnake by counting the number of segments, let's discuss another myth here. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake gets large, meaning they have large venom glands compared to a baby. There's another saying that baby venomous snakes are more dangerous because they can't control how much venom they can inject 
and they'll release it all. That is not true. That's another myth. Babies can control the amount of venom they inject. And also, as I mentioned about the larger venom gland size of an adult, even if a baby released all of its venom, an adult releasing just a little bit could be more than even the full amount of a baby. As adults, they have bigger venom glands. Babies can control how much venom they inject. So that is another myth dispelled right here, right now. With reproduction, eastern diamondbacks are ovoviviparous, meaning that they give birth to live young rather than laying eggs. Mating will typically occur in the spring after they emerge from the colder months. And after mating, the females will carry the developing embryos for about six months before giving birth. And they can give birth to anywhere from 6 to 20 or even more babies. And babies are born fully functional with fangs, venom glands, and all of that. Babies are born with what's known as a pre-button. And then they shed within that first week of life, gaining a button. And throughout that first year, they're going to shed multiple times, gaining a segment each time. And the rattle will not start making a noise until they have two or three segments. Eastern diamondbacks have been declining in much of their range. The threats they are facing are to habitat loss due to urbanization, agriculture, and road construction. And of course, since many people dislike snakes, an eastern diamondback encounter doesn't usually end well for the snake, unfortunately. When looking at encounters with people, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake will resort to a few scenarios. One would be relying on their camouflage and being still hoping they haven't been spotted. Another would be fleeing quickly into a hiding spot, or they may start rattling and backing away slowly or rattling and standing their ground. Accidents do occur, of course, but the majority of bites are due to people messing with the snake. In the case of a bite, it should be treated as a medical emergency. Antivenin is available and the chance of survival of any snake bite in the United States is 99%. The eastern diamondback, like all snakes as well as every native animal, plays a highly important ecological role. As an apex predator, they play a part in balancing the population of the prey they eat. This has a crucial impact on us as well. The prey items they eat carry diseases that can spread to people. When a snake eats that diseased prey, it eliminates it and stops it from spreading to more and more animals. Another aspect is, if these prey items are left unchecked, the impact has effects not only on their populations, but environmental impacts such as overgrazing. Another important role of eastern diamondbacks is that they are also prey for other animals, such as birds of prey, hawks, and eagles, for example. To summarize, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is not only an iconic animal in general, but also an extremely important one for native environments. The misconceptions surrounding snakes causes them to suffer when one is encountered. But the truth is, although potentially dangerous, they, just like all snakes, prefer to avoid human contact. And the best advice is to just leave them be. And if encountered at home, there are plenty of people that would be more than happy to come relocate them from your yard to elsewhere. This is the largest rattlesnake species on earth and should be an honor to have them native to the United States. I hope you learned something from this video and enjoyed seeing such a beautiful rattlesnake species. What an incredible snake. Can't say it enough. If you haven't already, please click like and if you aren't, click subscribe as well. I want to give a big shout out to my channel members. If you'd like to support further than a like or a subscribe, consider becoming a channel member. You get early access to videos, exclusive videos, and a shout out at the end. Also, big shout out to my Patreon members. If you'd like to support me over there, you also get early access to videos, exclusive content, and a shout out at the end. A big thank you to those that donate in other ways. Click the description, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Check out the Etsy shop where there are some prints available. Love y'all so much. I'll be back soon.